Hi Daimies! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Princess Sahira. So first and foremost, I want to thank all of you guys who have been supporting me and for those who are new to my channel, you are welcome to come join the family, subscribe down below because I will be posting a lot more videos related to future spouse. So today, well, well, well. a lot of you guys are still curious about your future spouse so I decided to make a video of future spouse prediction. This time, I'm going to use another technique which is to look at your 7th house lord where it is placed in the birth chart, in your birth chart, okay? As usual, I have provided a link down below in my description box. You can just click on the link to get your birth chart. So, if your 7th house lord is placed in the 1st house, he might have the same quality as you. He might mirroring you, you know, because it is in the first house. So there's a lot of similarities between you guys. Maybe he or she has the same personality as you. And maybe some people will say that you guys are look alike. And also, maybe he is in the same sign as you. Maybe you're Taurus and he's also Taurus. Maybe you guys have the same personality, has, has the same um, interest, he has average height. He might also be ambitious and optimistic and also hardworking. Maybe this guy is brave at heart, he's like a warrior to you. He has a prominent brow, nose, chin and lips and he has a strong bone structure. So how you will meet him? You might meet him when you're alone, when you're being independent. If you have a business, it might be that he, you meet him or her when you were doing business, when you were at when you were managing your business. It could also be that maybe you were heartbroken before and you were and this time you want to focus on yourself. You want to focus on you. So when that happened, when you decided to focus on you, that's when he will come in your life. Maybe you will meet him when you were working hard, when you were working hard to achieve your ambition or dream maybe. It could also be that you meet him through your family's wedding. He might have a strong jawline and a heart-shaped face. He is very competitive, has an athletic body. Now, if your 7th house lord is placed in the 2nd house, 2nd house lord is all about our savings. So maybe this guy have a lot of saving. He's good in saving money and he is dependable. He is also a family guy, I guess. He has a lot of possessions. Maybe he has um, some property. He is the type who is a bit materialistic. And because second house is Taurus, so Taurus loves food. That, that means that this guy maybe loves food as well. Maybe he values good food. Taurus are very loyal and loving, so this guy might be that, might be very loyal to you and loving and also very handsome looking because Taurus is ruled by Venus and Venus is all about beauty and this guy might love art, maybe he loves to draw or you know anything related to art, maybe music, maybe he knows how to play instruments or maybe he know how to sing maybe he has a beautiful voice he loves aesthetics so maybe if you guys um, met someone who is aesthetic that would be the one maybe and he is also romantic he or she is very romantic at, at heart they, they show their love through physical touch Taurus are slow in personality you know they are not slow like slow-minded no they are just low in personality. They're relaxed. They're always calm. But they are actually very prone to anger, I guess. And it's quite terrifying when they are angry. So maybe just don't test your limits. <laughs> so how they may look like, you ask? So maybe he has a well-rounded face. Maybe he has the rounded nose that turns up a bit at the end and he might have a thick hair he has a healthy appearance he is very confident he has this the self-belief in himself inner self-belief in himself 
and also he loves beauty so maybe when you feel beautiful that, that day or maybe because have you ever heard that um, phrase beauty is in the eye of the beholder so yeah this is like the concept I guess you can meet him through a family gathering, a family wedding and because Taurus love good food maybe you will meet him when you are at a restaurant eating good foods or maybe he's the waiter giving you good foods to try you know and maybe there's a good music you were listening to. Maybe you know how, how uh, things that, like that happen in movies a lot. You were listening to music and then he came and asked you, um, What music are you listening to? Oh my god. You guys can meet when you, when you went to a museum, I guess. When you went shopping, when you bought, when you are in a luxurious setting. Yeah, I guess that's how you will meet him. So... If your seventh house lord is in the third house, so the characteristics of your spouse, he would be traveling a lot, like traveling to different states, traveling for um for work to a different state, a short distance travel, I guess. Imagine if you were on a trip, like you went travel, you went to a different state, and he went to a different state, or maybe you went to his state. So you met him there and you fall in love and you found your love which is very lucky you know because i have seen a lot of people who met their soulmate who met their spouse in like a bizarre way so it is all possible you know if you read this and you feel like nah it's just like too good to be true no because you don't know what will happen in your life you don't know you don't know when is the miracle will happen and when things are gonna be happy for you okay and because the third house is about communication I guess he is is a social media influencer he or she um, communicate a lot with people around the world or around the community and I guess he could be doing business through the online community and this is so interesting because he or she might be very funny or quite funny or maybe he they can be a comedian you know yeah because i told you that um they are very good at communicating they have a social networking skill right so maybe they can be a, a comedian a, a stand-up comedy person maybe maybe their face is very youthful or just their vibe is very youth youthful and also maybe they are just so refreshing to be around they have a fair skin tone they might have a fair skin tone they look very strong they have shiny eyes and expressive face they have quite high forehead and also they have a straight nose so you will meet them when you're traveling to a different state which is um like a short distant travel like from state to state like i said just now mm -hmm. you could even meet them through social media i guess you follow them on instagram and maybe you need them for your business you need them to make promotional video for you so that's when it all started i told you you have to believe in me that people meet their soulmate meet their future spouse in a bizarre kind of way sometimes so you just have to believe in it if you believe in it there are possibilities that they, that it will happen you could even meet them through a social gathering maybe through your siblings imagine you went to a stand-up comedy show and you meet him there it doesn't mean that the people who were doing this stand-up comedy but maybe it's the people who sits beside you so if you have your seventh house lord in the fourth house he might be someone who sell a house who is a house seller what do we call it i forgot but he sells houses or maybe you meet him through someone who sells house that could be the situation as well and he is a family guy maybe 
he even have bought a house for marriage. He have prepared for marriage. Maybe he is an interior designer, a home interior designer, I guess. He is loyal and protective and also very intuitive. And he might be devoted to his family and friends. When it comes to how he looks like, his physical feature and facial feature, he might have a rounded face or maybe a round eyes and dark colored hair. He might even have a red undertone and thick hair. He have a prominent jawbone and thick eyebrow. It's like an arched down eyebrow. They have um, a fair to medium skin tone. They have thin legs and arms with beautiful looks or maybe they have um, like a blue eyes or maybe gray eyes. So he might be your neighbor. Maybe he lives in the neighborhood. You could even meet him when you were buying a house. Maybe you bought a house and you asked your friends about interior designer and your friend gave you a contact number. You were just trying to find an interior designer, but you found a spouse as well. Or it could be that you were trying to buy a car. Maybe he is a salesperson, car salesman. And also maybe you can be meeting him when you were driving. Maybe you just bump into him or bump into his car. <laughs> Sorry. But maybe you were, you were driving. Um, anything related to house and car. You can even meet him when there is a lot of cars or maybe at the parking lot. I told you. Sometimes people meet their soulmate or a sp future spouse in a bizarre kind of way. If you have your 7th house lord in the 5th house, this person is intelligent and he, they might be into business. They might be into speculative business, you know, investments and all that. And maybe, because they have a social... Uh, networking skills as well they have a communicating skill communication skill so I guess he could be having a YouTube channel related to investments and I'm not saying that he's a married man but maybe he has a child maybe that's a huge maybe don't chase for someone's husband just someone who has a child who have been married before I guess he has the quality a teacher quality so maybe he teach people ab about investments about speculative business he is big-hearted and he is he has a natural leadership quality he is also caring and positive he is optimistic they might have small nose thick brows they might be average in height they have a gorgeous hair for some reason, and they have a thick, gorgeous hair. Might meet him when you're making an investment, when you seek for a teacher who could teach you about investment. You could even meet him at a school setting. Maybe you have a siblings who are still in schools, so you send them to school, and that's when you meet the person. Maybe the person is a teacher in the school. You might even meet him through your father or you have met their father if you are in a situation where your dad always look for your um, future spouse that could be the the reason why you meet your future spouse through your dad if your seventh house lord is in the sixth house so he is maybe they are always concerned about health Maybe they're a doctor or working in the hospital or wait, or just working in the, in the health field. Uh, maybe he's a pharmacist. They could be very good in communicating. They could be an advisor or maybe a health advisor, you know. And they could be um, a psychiatrist or maybe they're a counselor. They are sympathetic and kind they're a quick thinker they have a clear skin obviously and they may have an athletic build they are physically attractive they have a an oval shaped face 
a youthful appearance and a narrow jawline. Maybe when you were just walking around, um, you know, when you went to a hospital or when you went to just shopping complex. Um, so someone talks about you, r r talks about health with you. Maybe someone is advising you about health. Maybe you went to a pharmacy and someone talked to you about health. So that could be the person. It's either that is the person or maybe that's the setting, that's the vibe. When someone, when someone were talking to you about health and that's when you meet them around there. And because he cares about health, maybe a gym coach. They just are into gym or maybe you are into gym. You always went to the gym um, and you happen to meet them there. You could even meet him when you were just exercising. If your seventh house, Lord, is in the seventh house, seventh house ruled by Libra and the seventh house, Lord, is Venus. So, your spouse could be flirtatious and they um, are beautiful. They have the charm in their look. They love luxurious things. They love good foods. They are intelligent. They could be doing business. Maybe they are a wedding planner. I think they have sports car. They are into arts, they are artistic, and maybe he loves to spoil you with money. Libra loves to have fun. Usually they are in short to medium height. You might meet them in a wedding boutique. You might even meet them in a wedding, or he might be a lawyer. So you might meet them in a law firm or you were dealing with a lawyer or you meet him in, in court you might meet them through their sister's wedding or through your sister's wedding if your seventh house lord is in the eighth house these are the characteristics of your future spouse maybe when you meet them they are actually in the face of rising from a great fall maybe their family have been in bankruptcy and they are also into astrology whenever i think whenever people are into astrology people who are into astrology like all of you guys who are watching this video i think you are very hopeful so this person that you're gonna meet is very hopeful kind of person he is very strong to me because to rise from a great fall needs a lot of strength they have they have been in a death-like experience maybe they have been in an accident that almost and and they almost lose their life they might have a lot of friends and they are maybe they're a brother in the family they are the the they love to improve themselves they are the kind that always say new year new me they have a strong willpower they are very hardworking, wise and they are mysterious they have a british skin complexion i guess i don't know how to pronounce it is it correct some people have experienced bankruptcy some people have experienced um, heartbroken have been heartbroken for a long time maybe for years so they might have a red undertone skin. They are like a wolverine, like a vampire. They have that, that mysterious vibe. Maybe when you are going through a great fall and you are rising, or maybe him, maybe they, they are going through a great fall and, and are rising at the time and that's when you guys met. Maybe you were around their house, maybe you met their parents or maybe you met a loan to buy a house or to buy a car or maybe when you're learning astrology like when you're watching this video and maybe you just met the person here 
maybe in the comment section down below we don't know right we don't know the possibilities are huge maybe if you have a brother maybe you will meet him through your brother it or maybe someone in your life that has the brotherly figure that is always protective of you like a brother so that could be him it could also be through your friend or maybe he is your friend who is like a brother like they have a brother vibe to you and i believe the relationship will start with a friendship suddenly i am reminded of so if you have your seventh house lord in the ninth house your spouse is a wise person he is full of wisdom uh, and they could be pious they could be religious um, they could even be in a, a coming from a foreign place foreign place here it doesn't mean that foreign country it could be somewhere in your country that is foreign to you countries are huge right for example in india there might be some places that you have not been before so that place is foreign to you so maybe he, you could be meeting him there or maybe he could be coming from there maybe this is a huge maybe but this is possible maybe this person have a different culture from you it doesn't mean that he came from a foreign places maybe he came from a foreign culture to you because why i said this i i have met okay do i have to be honest about this so my mom has this placement and he and she met my dad and my dad is an indian guy my dad's background family background is india from india like literally from india the person could have a white forehead and he is he or she is fun loving they could be having a button nose with bright eyes they could be a teacher or a foreigner they have a long legs for for some reason they have a long legs like you guys can see it like you guys can br for long legs <laughs> they could be very elegant and energetic they are adventurous and courageous they are optimistic and they have a happy lips when even when they're not smiling they look like they're smiling you could even meet them when you are doing a religious act or maybe you will go into a pilgrimage or when you're studying law when you went to a law firm they could be there and when you learn foreign languages when you learn about foreign cultures when you were having fun in foreign places you know now if you have your seventh house lord in the tenth house your spouse is someone who is respected in the community and this person could be mature than you looking very mature than you or literally very mature than you um, or older than you maybe this person has an uncle in the army this person might have a square face they are quite shy in nature i guess they have a lean body and average height they have a uh, visible cheekbones they have this serious face they have this serious look on their face because maybe because they are so shy they put a serious look on your face like no one could talk to me because i did that sometimes when i don't want people to talk to me because when i when i feel when my anxieties came in yeah i made a serious face like a bitch face he might even have a broad bone structure you could meet them when you were working hard to achieve your dream when you were focusing on achieving your dream or you could meet them when you join a military so if you have the seventh house lord in the eleventh house this person is mature than you mature in look or mature in mental and he is he or she is older than you they are the source of income in their family maybe they have a lot of friends 
they are tall. If you believe in past life connection, so this relationship between you guys will be like a past life connection. Maybe in a past life you guys have met and in this life you met again and it's like a it's like a magnetic connection you know when you see him or her for the first time you just know that you need to be with him they have a thin lips for women they have a boy like body and a candid face you might meet them when you are focusing on gaining a huge amount of income or maybe you have gained a massive amount of income and that's when you meet them maybe he or she is your boss maybe you meet them when you're working or when you're focusing on achieving your goals you could meet them through a group of friends or you can meet them through uh, through your boss now if you have seventh house lord in the twelfth house okay so the twelfth house is a bit mysterious it's all about mystery so i guess this guy is mysterious um maybe they have a hidden talent maybe they love to you know hidden talents for example maybe they love to just dancing in the room singing in the room they have a talent at that but they don't express it so when you meet them maybe when you meet them and know them personally you will know that oh this person is like this but at first you saw them you might think that they are mysterious but you're curious you want to know you want to know them i think they believe in magic and they believe in astrology they could be doing astrology as well because it's a mysterious thing astrology to me is a very mysterious thing they could be dreamy and also always zone out maybe when you see them when you met them um, they were zoning out and you were maybe curious why are they zoning out like you went to them and talked to them and asked them maybe they have the eyes that speaks maybe you saw them and you think that they are very mysterious or maybe they were zoning out but their eyes speaks to you like when they're sad when they're feeling sad or maybe they they're thinking of something so their eyes speaks to you so you went to them you were curious so you want to talk to them you want to um, ask them you want to get to know them they have a womanly physique and i believe that they have dimples in their face this is a huge indication that maybe they are a foreigner they were born in your country but they live in a foreign country now they are wise they could be your teacher they could teach you a lot um they could teach you astrology they are very spiritual they don't care a lot about um, material things are very poetic and artistic okay do you agree with me or not that poetic people are mysterious like they have so many experiences in their life they put it in their poem and it amazed me my favorite um poet is rupi kaur and i just love i love her works they are highly romantic and highly empathetic you will meet them in a foreign country or maybe they came from a foreign country because they're a foreigner or maybe because they live in a foreign country now maybe you went for a you went to a magic show or maybe you were watching this video and you met them in a comment section you could meet them when you're doing a spiritual act so that's it for today i hope you guys enjoy the video please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button also hit the like button if you like this video so we'll meet again in the next video. Ta-ta!